Neil just won first place. And also another shocking info. Remember Neil's L3 certification, L3, L4 test certification? Well, Neil beat out the likes of Huawei, Xiaomi, Xpeng, Li Auto. All these guys were beaten by Neil. Incredible. We'll talk more about this later. But what was the thing that Neil just got crowned first place again in? And that is, of course, the James David Power, which is an American a rating company, they've rated Neo's ES8 as the most uh, best quality premium luxury EV. So that's the best quality EV you can buy in the premium market. Of course, here is that poster winning first place in the 2024 rankings. Absolutely incredible. This is definitely going to help boost sales of the ES8 gain more recognition as the best quality luxury EV that you can buy. And of course, the ET5 and ET5T also won the best quality sedan award, which is also incredible. They're the number one in terms of quality for the EV sedan market. This is definitely going to further boost sales of the ET5 and ET5T 100% because of the fact that this won both the best quality and the best most desired car so they got first place in both these two categories for the et5 and et5t which is just absolutely incredible all right it just shows that this is of course one of the best selling meals out there but also it is one of the best neos out there as well one of the best vehicles sedans period of course neo is advertising this as well so customers know exactly what they're getting and this is of course going to help boost sales nonetheless next up i have a very interesting clip from cctv which is china state television talking about the recent l3 l4 certification and how vigorous the process the screening process was for these nine approved consortia or candidates that ultimately got approved was the competition among these nine consortia fierce? Yes, after the usual release, more than 20 chairpeople and general managers were involved. A total of 29 consortia were formed to apply for the pilot guidelines. The entire process was still very intense. In accordance with the requirements of the city department, we organized experts across fields and departments. This involved the initial review and this merit-based review. Currently, these are the nine consortia with the strongest comprehensive strength. So out of 29 auto companies, only nine were ultimately approved for L3, L4 testing. These are the nine. Of course, first we got Chang'an, number two BYD, number three GAC, number four SAIC, number five BAIC, number six FAW. These are all massive automobile companies here in China. Number seven, you got SAIC Hongyang, which is a, a truck company. And then number eight, you got a Yutong, which is a bus company. So it's all different vehicles. And at number nine, we got NIO. NIO is the only new energy vehicle maker out there that is approved on this list, beating the likes of Huawei. Huawei is not even on this list. And beating the likes of Li Auto, Xpeng. All these guys are not on this list. That means NIO's autonomous driving capability is well recognized even by the government after vigorous screening and testing. This just shows that Neo's dominance in China is absolutely incredible and they've beaten out competitors that have even more deliveries. And this is of course also going to help boost Neo's sales as well as the only new energy vehicle company with L3, L4 a test certification. All these other guys, the other guys that are not approved, they can't even test L3, L4. All right. So this is incredible. Neil's winning first place in multiple, multiple categories. And they are beating the competitors so much that they can no longer compete in the pure electric uh, EV space. Competitors such as IM Motors, they produce also luxury EVs, premium EVs, pure electric vehicles but their sales have just absolutely been terrible. They don't have a moat like Neo does. 
and even though they're trying to compete with Neo, they are absolutely losing in terms of sales. Uh, the CEO of IM Motors once said that the sales of the IM L7 is going to beat the ET7, but that was not the case. And of course, uh, even after the launch of the LS6, it, they weren't doing too well. They launched the L6, which is just doing so-so mediocre as well. And it's gotten so bad for them that they had to shift their strategy and start building EREVs with gas tanks, extended range electric vehicles with gas tanks. Absolutely nuts. Also, Avatar, A-V-A-T-R, they were supposed to compete with Neo as well in the premium luxury EV space, 300K above, 300K RMB plus SUVs, pure electric, could not compete and they had to shift their strategy and also start producing EREVs with the Avatar 1 2. Absolutely nuts. It just shows that, you know, all these other automobile companies, they're cheating by adding gasoline, which is the magic, magic liquid to boost their sales. And it just also shows, you know, with Lee Auto as well, their cars uh, without gasoline, they're nothing. Their cars, the uh, Lee Auto Mega, absolutely doesn't sell well they sell about 1,000 vehicles per month which is basically nothing which is basically nothing and they really need gasoline to support their sales on the other hand Neo doesn't need gasoline and if Neo were to do something like an EREV which they wouldn't it's very counterintuitive it's cheating doing that Neo would have absolutely tremendous sales but you know, it's very counterintuitive. They already have swap stations. It's better to get people to recognize battery swap than to stuff a gasoline a gas tank and a generator inside the car. All of this combined, all right, the competitors admitting defeat, switching to gasoline because they can't compete in pure EV, and the fact that Neil's won so many accolades, getting number one spot in many of these uh, categories, just gives more proof that Neo is doing extremely, extremely well. The R&D that they're putting in is paying off. So they have great quality cars and it's getting more recognition. People feel a lot more comfortable buying a Neo now and they realize that battery swap is the way to go and it's just going to help boost sales even further. And of course, uh, one Neo owner in a community would help get more Neo owners because they will undoubtedly tell their friends and family about how great that car is. They get their friends to test drive the vehicle, ride in the car, they like it, they'll buy the vehicle as well. So whilst other companies cut corners, Neo does not compromise on safety or quality or whatsoever and it's really paying off and it's and it's getting recognition, which is the best part. All right, people are recognizing that NEOs are the best. So going forward, there will be more sales explosion, more orders, and people are just going to buy these cars. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.